Creating new materials is the dream of every researcher who is engaged in material engineering. Titanium is used in all of these products. It is light, strong, and rust-proof. It has been 6,000 years since copper came to be used by humans, 4,000 years for iron, and only about a century and a half for aluminum. Titanium in particular has a short history. It has been only 70 to 80 years since it was first used. This young, fascinating metal is extremely difficult to extract, difficult to shape, and shows limited high temperature properties. However, in the past decades, a revolutionary new alloy class has been developed from titanium. Intermetallic titanium aluminides, birth of a new lightweight heat-resistant structural material. Dr. Helmut Clemens was born in Klagenfurt, Austria on July 26, 1957. Since childhood, he showed a strong interest in nature and techniques. Clemens entered Higher Technical Institute 1 Klagenfurt in 1973. Clemens encountered Professor Benno Buckelt, who was an expert in internal combustion engines for automotive and aircraft. He was taught that it is necessary to increase the temperature in the combustion chamber in order to increase engine efficiency, and the limit of performance depends on its material. These words remain deep in his heart. His engagement in engines and high temperature materials began from this point. He decided to enroll at the Montagne Université de Leoben after receiving advice from his teacher, Haynes Egger, to study there if he was interested in materials. Clemens entered Montagne Université de Leoben in 1978. There was a life-changing encounter at the university. Professor Genther Bauer, a world-leading scientist in semiconductor physics. He was taught important fundamentals as a scientist, such as how to take a scientific approach in order to solve problems. First, he learned about semiconductors. In the framework of his PhD studies, he built up Austria's first molecular beam epitaxy system, which is used to produce new types of semiconductor superlattice structures. In 1990, Lemons joined Plan Z, a cutting-edge company in the field of powder metallurgy. He became a group leader of an intermetallics research group and came across titanium aluminide alloys for the first time in 1992. He had no idea about titanium aluminum alloys besides knowing that their intermetallic behavior makes them brittle at room temperature and extremely difficult to shape even at high temperature. Lemon succeeded in developing an innovative hot rolling process for intermetallic titanium alumina sheets. These were evaluated in several high speed civil transport programs. Clemens encountered his future partner, Dr. Wolfried Smarsley, who is a materials expert at MTU Aero Engines in Munich, Germany. They discussed application of titanium alumina to aircraft engines. Advantage of lightweight and high heat resistance of titanium alumina should contribute lower fuel consumption and CO2 emission. Common vision was created. In 1998, he left Plan Z and dedicated himself to conducting fundamental research at the University of Stuttgart. Clemens joined GKSS Research Center in Geistag, Germany in 2000 as one of the heads of the Institute for Materials Research. 
Here, he came first in contact with experimental methods where neutrons and high-energy synchrotron radiation are used for material characterization. Later, these methods have played an important role for the development of titanium alumini alloys and their processing. In 2003, Clemens became a professor at Montaigne University Leoben. He was asked by Dr. Smarsley to develop a titanium alumini alloy as new material for forged turbine blades, a next generation of aero engines where safety and security are strictly demanded. Presently, casting is generally used for the production of titanium alumini components in service, for example, turbine blades or turbocharger wheels. However, forging of titanium alumini has a number of benefits which casting did not have. Dr. Masao Takeyama of the Tokyo Institute of Technology, a friend and longtime scientific collaborator of Helmut Clemens, had already published in 1993 his findings how titanium alumini alloys can be forged successfully. In the last 10 years, the accumulated experience of Dr. Clemens, both in titanium alumini alloy design and technology, were bearing fruit. His research was always based on a strong interaction of his team and the numerous industrial partners. He devised the design concept for an easy-to-forge titanium alumini alloy, compared simulation and experiment in order to obtain an optimum composition of the titanium alumini alloy, and finally studies heat treatment processes to adjust the required mechanical properties. For the first time, a computer-aided method was applied to define the composition of an engineering titanium alumini alloy. The most advanced experimental methods were applied to investigate the internal structure of the developed titanium alumini alloy from atomic to macroscopic scale. Furthermore, novel in-situ techniques were used to study technological processes such as forging and heat treatments in real time. A new family of titanium alumini alloys was developed which exhibits adaptive properties being soft when hot worked, and hard when used as structural components. The outcome was fourth generation titanium alumini alloy, the so-called TNM alloy which can be forged on state-of-the-art forging machines. This was a truly revolutionary development and remarkable achievement, which opens this promising class of lightweight, high-temperature materials to a variety of new options and applications. The TNM alloy is currently undergoing validation and certification by Pratt and Whitney, working with MTU Aero Engines. Forged titanium alumini blades are going to be used in innovative gear turbofan engines for the Airbus A320 Neo and other middle distance aircrafts. The new technology will reduce fuel consumption and CO2 emissions and will cut perceived noise levels by half compared with today's engines. The TNM alloy will add to the realization of the next generation of environmentally friendly aero engines, thus contributing to the advancement of eco technology. Dr. Clemens was awarded with a number of prizes, including the Georg Sachs Prize in 1995, the Eric Schmidt Award in 1999, the University Research Award of the Industry in 2006, and the Wolfgang Hoska Prize in 2010. He has written over 480 articles for numerous academic journals as well as books, and he has been invited for lectures on over 100 occasions across the world. He says, if I were to be born again, I want to have the same life as I have now. His engagement in advanced environmental friendly combustion engines and high temperature materials will continue. Dr. Clemens will continue his research on intermetallic titanium alumini alloys to explore the true limits of these innovative high-temperature materials.